Hi, this is Dean Cardinal from Worldwide Trekking, and today I want to talk about the bags you're going to need to pack for Mount Kilimanjaro. You're going to need a large duffel bag, poly duffel bag. We recommend a North Face bag, a large size or extra large size. If you pack a large duffel bag that's less than 132 liters, and then you put all your stuff in there and it's so tight you can just shut the zipper, it's hard to work in that much space. So if you get one that's a little bigger, the extra large size, you don't, you don't want to fill it right to the top and have it be too heavy, but what you do want is to be able to unzip your bag and comfortably get through your ditty bags and find the item that you're going to need. An extra large size North Face duffel bag is what we recommend. There's lots of poly duffel bags. The nice thing about that North Face poly duffel is it's waterproof and it's very durable. It'll last you a very long time. Okay, the next thing that you're gonna want for in your duffel bag when you pack it is ditty bags. It's a good idea to have these smaller bags. This has t-shirts and socks in it, and it's purple. So I know that the purple one has my t-shirts and socks. And then I could take another one, say a blue one, and put my underwear in it, or, or my long underwear, my thermal layers, things like that. So having some ditty bags to put inside of your duffel bag is gonna help you stay organized, it's gonna help you be able to find what you need, and it's gonna just pack much, much bigger. To save money, a lot of times, I'll just use Ziploc bags. Uh, a Ziploc bag, it's nice, it's waterproof, it's also clear so I can see the items inside. So, you know, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on these expensive ditty bags. You know, if you go, if you go to your sports store, or even online, uh, Amazon, you can find ditty bags at a reasonable cost. But keep in mind that Ziploc bags work very well as well. Along with your ditty bags, there's a number of other type packing items. This one's made by Eagle Creek. I've had these for a while. You can buy these at REI, backcountry.com, other sporting outlets or travel stores. But this, this type of packing system kind of opens up. And then when it opens up, it'll hold your folded shirt and pants. So one of these, you could put a few pair of pants, a few travel shirts on, at least for when you're traveling over to Tanzania. And then you can fold it up pretty easily. And everything stays really organized and folded up, uh, a lot less wrinkled shirts and things like that. Um, the next item that you're gonna need is a day pack. So this is just like a, 20 liter day pack. You don't need to have one bigger than that. You can't have one much smaller than that. The day pack needs to just fit you comfortably. You can, you can get fit in the store or um, buy it online and see that it fits uh, comfortable. Um, the importance of the day pack is the day pack is going to have all of the items that you need on Kilimanjaro during the day from camp to camp. So when we leave camp in the morning, your duffel bag is gonna go on with the porter from that camp all the way to the next night's camp. You won't see the duffel bag during the day until you arrive at your night's destination. Um, the day pack is gonna have your water, some snacks, it's gonna have a change of clothes, like a layer change, like it's gonna have a, a insulating layer, maybe your rain jacket in it, some sunblock just the items that you need during the day. Your camera will be in there. So, you know, you just need a 20 liter basic day pack to put all of the items that you're gonna need from camp to camp. You'll be wearing this every day. Uh, lastly, you're gonna need one, one more piece of luggage. It doesn't need to be a duffel bag. Duffel bags are convenient because they pack up small, but when we go on the climb, uh, for Kilimanjaro, you're gonna be able to leave a bag at the lodge um, locked up in, in a storage area while we're on the mountain. So anything that we don't need on the mountain, um, your laptop computer, travel clothes, items for the safari afterwards, or your extended vacation, anything that you do not need on Kilimanjaro, you're gonna leave in a third bag at the lodge in the storage room, and you'll be reunited with that when we return from the climb. Okay, so these are the three bags that you're gonna need. A day pack, a large duffel bag, and a 
a second bag to store at the lodge when we go on the Kilimanjaro climb. I hope this has been helpful. Be sure to watch the rest of these videos to learn about all of the gear that you're going to need for Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa.